We live in a day and age where they pack smart technology in just about everything that we own, whether it be cars, whether it be your shoes, whether it be your appliances. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about this one right here. This is a Samsung Smart Refrigerator, and we're gonna show you guys what it has to offer and give you a review on it. That's today's video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, we're going to review uh, a purchase that I've made for our family with this smart refrigerator. Now, anybody who knows me knows I'm a big techie and that I love buying a lot of uh, smart technology gadgets that just kind of enhance and improve our way of life. Now, this one here may have been a little bit of a splurge. Do you need a refrigerator that has this smart technology built in it? Well, probably not. You just need a refrigerator that cools your food. But if you're gonna buy a new refrigerator, you might as well buy a real cool one and get one that's got all the bells and whistles like this one here. Now, one of the cool features about this refrigerator is that it, you can view what's inside your fridge when you're not even at home. So maybe you're out shopping, you're doing your grocery shopping and you wanna remember if you have milk, you can get on your phone and use a Smart Things app dive into there and it'll show you three pictures. It's got like three cameras in here that show like the top, the middle, and the bottom. And you can see what's inside your fridge to show you what you're maybe missing in your grocery shopping. Now, one of the things that my wife likes to do is she uses Pandora and gets on here and plays music while she's maybe washing dishes or she's preparing food. So it has your most of your popular streaming devices like Spotify, Pandora, or any of those other type of streaming devices that you get your music from. You can play it all right here. Now, since it does have the Samsung Smarts app built into it, you can control a lot of your smart devices right here on your fridge, like maybe your lights or your thermostat. Um, it's also got the built-in Bixby feature to where you can voice activate it and talk to it without even touching it or um, having to manually press anything. So that's another neat little feature. Now, if you have the ring doorbell, which I do, it can show you who's at your front door whenever they push the button and they ring your doorbell. It automatically comes onto the screen of our refrigerator showing us who's at the front door. If you are an Instacart user, which we are, when we buy our groceries through Instacart, you can do that all right here on the hub by selecting your groceries and then having them be picked up and delivered to you. And the cool thing about it is on the screen here, it shows you the navigation of where your driver's at with your groceries and gives you real-time updates to keeping you in the know in real time. Now, some of the more simpler things that I've really enjoyed with it, besides having the time on here, and as you can tell, maybe possibly, uh, it shows a, a picture on there of spring. Um, with every season or whatever is going on in the weather, this is constantly changing. So if it's raining, sometimes it shows like a puddle and then water dripping. If it's snowing, it'll show snowflakes on a branch. Um, sometimes if it's like uh, foggy outside, it'll show even that. So it's always constantly changing the backgrounds and they're not always the same and showing you what's going on on the outside. So that's kind of a, a small feature, but one that I really like. Another one of my favorite features is that we're able to customize the home screen on here. So what you do is you take, you download the Smart Things app on your phone, and then you can upload pictures of your family like we have done to the Smart Things hub, and then you're able to put those pictures on here and change them from time to time. Um, and that's been something that I really like because every time you open up the refrigerator, right there's pictures of your family, and that's always been kind of nice to see. Sometimes whenever the screen will go dim, it just, it'll go dim up for energy saving purposes. But if it sees any kind of motion, if you walk in front of the refrigerator, then it like comes to life and turns back on. Now the refrigerator that we did buy here does have the standard French doors that open up similar like this. But if say you, one of your kids doesn't close the door all the way, it will start ringing and give you a, a notification saying that your door is still open. So that's kind of a nice feature. So that way you don't ruin any of the food that's inside. Now these refrigerators do come in different colors. Uh, we ended up with going with the black stainless steel. One of the features that I like about it is that when you touch it, it doesn't really leave a fingerprint on there. That's kind of a new feature with this type of stainless steel. My wife still doesn't like for me to touch it though. Along with some of the basics that it does offer, like telling you the time and the temperature, it does have a feature on there called a morning brief 
that can be customizable to each person that's in your house. Let me show you a quick little example of it. Okay, so here's the morning brief icon whenever I tap on it. As you can see, it's got me, it's got my wife on here. But you just hit start on the morning brief and she'll start talking. Good afternoon, Juan. Here is your midday brief. It is currently 8 centigrade or 47 Fahrenheit, sunny in Fredericktown. Humidity is at 51%. Good news. You don't have any food item expiring in the next three days. Next is today's news headlines. Now one of my kids' favorite features is that it does have a whiteboard on here wherever they can take and draw and um, just use it as a whiteboard to color on. So this is uh, how it does and it's very intuitive. Like it picks up your touch real easy. You see, I barely touched it and it, I made a mark. If you're not a fan of the Bixby feature, you can turn it off here or you can turn it on. So it does have that capability. Right here's the home button. There's a back button. If you're familiar with the Android platform, then you'll be able to uh, understand what these buttons are. But even if you're not, if you're an Apple phone user, it's not hard to pick up on these icons. Now, some of the apps that it does offer are some of these right here. So it's got like Amazon Dash, it's got Amazon Music, a calendar, your clock, deals, you can explore Bixby, you can see what's inside your fridge here, change up the gallery here, Grubhub, Home Advisor, Instacart, you can even search the internet on here. Maybe a meal planner, memo, morning briefing, Pandora, ring. I mean, it's got a slew of apps that you can download and delete. Um, and then I've got a set so that always updates automatically. And I'll get a notification on my phone whenever it says that the Samsung Family Hub has been updated. Okay, so here's that icon that where you can view what's inside your refrigerator, whether you, I mean, you can do it right here so that way you don't have to open up these doors or you can do it from your mobile. But when you click on it, it's got three different cameras that show what's inside. As you can see, it's kind of zoomed in a little bit to kind of give you a really close look of what you have. And we just went grocery shopping. So usually our, our shelves are not, not that full. They're usually bare, but it shows you what you have inside your refrigerator. Now one of the things it does have here is you can select water, you can get cubed ice, or you can get crushed ice. Now whenever you are doing crushed ice, you have to push in on the button and hold it for about three seconds. And it takes a while to crush the ice before it pours it into your cup. All right, so if you're a meal planner, what you could do is you can plan your meals right here on the screen and maybe go like say today's Friday, you'll tap on that, you select a meal, enter a title, and you can do your meal planning right here on your refrigerator versus having to use like a pad and paper. If you're into looking recipes, you can look up recipes on here and then a neat little feature, it does offer some daily inspiration that changes by the day. So like today it said, ask a friend how they are doing. One thing I will mention here that I wasn't sure if I liked when we first got the refrigerator is that whenever you do pull up on the handle, it lifts up a little bit before it'll actually open. And then it slides open like that. Now in here, it does have a tray that is on top and then on the bottom, you take and you slide that tray back like that, or you can slide it that way. So not a lot of your freezers have that option there, but this one does, so it makes it good for storing food and putting a lot of food in here. This thing will hold a lot of food in a freezer. Now, depending on which refrigerator you get, which model you get, some of them are different, but this one's kind of neat in the fact that this tray right here will actually lift up. Now, I've got a lot of eggs holding it down right now, but say you wanted to put a two liter or something that's pretty tall, you can put it on this shelf here and you can lift up this tray all the way up to make more room. Now the temperature can be controlled from the inside here, showing you what the temperature would be for the deli, the fresh and the chilled, uh, which would be the ice. And it's all controlled right here with like a touch. It's got the adjustable shelves on the sides, so you can put those pretty much anywhere you want with these little clips here on the end that lets you adjust the sizing based on the preference that you have. All right, so the bottom shelf has a cool select pantry here that with a drawer that slides out real easily like that. It's got the humidity control here where you can control it with a slider. And then that bell that you're hearing is the notification saying that the refrigerator door is open. And as you can see on the screen, it is signifying that door fridge is open. 
You'll also get that notification on your phone if you have the Samsung Smart Things app downloaded on your mobile. And if you have a Samsung Smart TV, it'll show up on the TV screen as well. So it's got that whole Samsung ecosystem built together. All right, to show you some of the side here, it's got that black metal side there that you're free to put your magnets and hang pictures on. And if you touch it, it doesn't have that, it doesn't leave fingerprints on it. So the same with the uh, black stainless steel here. So that's a nice feature when cleaning or if that's something that is important to you. Now, Samsung does make these refrigerators in different types of models. You don't have to get one that's got the ice maker and the water built into it. You can get it with just the, uh, the doors, but it does have this, this screen on here. So, Now, the refrigerator that we did own before this was a Samsung. Also, it was just a black plain fridge, and that thing lasted us like good 10 years, uh, and it was still kicking, but we ended up moving, and we had to leave the refrigerator there. So since we had that good track record with Samsung, I wasn't afraid to go ahead and buy another one just because I think Samsung is a really good company. Not only do they make great TVs and good phones, I'm very confident that they produce a very good refrigerator also. So in the little bit of time that we have owned this, this has been a really great refrigerator for us. Now, do you need a smart refrigerator? No, you don't. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more of a splurge, but if you're gonna get a new refrigerator, buy one that's gonna be, that's gonna last in the future and it's going to enhance um, your kitchen and your family experience. And I think this is a good one to do. So this has been a good refrigerator for me. I recommend it. Uh, hopefully this honest review video, because I don't work for Samsung. I'm a regular consumer, probably like a lot of you guys who are watching this video, but hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video. If you got any questions on it, comment down below. I'll try to answer them and help you out in any way that I can. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you back on the next one. And until then, be creative.